By now, our summer adventure on board Tangro is well on its way. Next stop, Hornby Island. And well, let's just say we were in for a ride. The anchorage we were heading to, Tribune Bay, is only good when the wind comes from the north. But guess what? The wind came from the south. Have you ever wanted to just change your life? We did. We're the Carmina family and we felt we were wasting our lives and we desperately needed a change. So we bought and moved on to an old 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a complete refit. Join us as we refit Tangrera while exploring the world around us one island at a time. Day three, baby! Where are we going? Uh, we're going over to Tribune Bay. I love Hornby. Tribune Bay. Hornby yes. Island. Yes. Okay, engines are started. Anchor's coming up. Yeah, we're going to head out over down the um, Newcastle Island Channel here and come out the other side and was it Departure Bay. So what's the big thing we have to watch going down this uh, channel? Seaplanes. There's an active seaplane area here and then there's an active seaplane area on the other side of the channel. But there's something... strobes? There's supposed to be a strobe light on the jetty over here. So we'll just watch when we go. And Let's do it. But it was good holding. We have a bit of mud. So anchors up and we are heading through Newcastle Channel. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of marinas here and a lot of seaplane traffic. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open. But um, yeah, Newcastle Island, very cool. Let's go to Hornby. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Morning. Aircraft preparing for takeoff or landing when lights flashing. That's good to know. Here's the end of Newcastle Island. Kind of cool rock formation out there. Bye bye, Nanaimo. Yeah, no. Lovely trip in Newcastle. Looking forward to Hornby. But now it's a great day versus yesterday. And you can just sit on the deck and have our cup of tea and just. Yeah, that's what it is, just, yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. No clue what it is. I thought it was a lighthouse, not a lighthouse. There is a house there, but huge towers and a big dome. Anybody know what it is? Drop the comments down below, we would love to know. Looks like it's got a helicopter pad too, being that there's a thing over there. Sock, a wind sock. And then the girls finally decided to wake up. And of course, they woke up hungry. Yeah, where are the bowls? I have no idea. You sure there's none in your room? There might be like one. For the candy. I'd say there's two then, one for each of you from the piñata. Hey, it's been about three and a half, four hours and we are just coming into Hornby. It's actually a nice passage. I just sat on the aft deck and did some editing for the video that's coming out today. Yes. If you wonder where the girls are. Yep, they're right there. Oh, Hello. there's one. Oh, there's two. And they're gone again. <laughs> yeah, Hornby right there. Tribune Bay. Welcome to Tribune Bay. Just about ready to anchor. Meg, is okay? I'm just waking up. I'm ready. First things first was to get the dogs ashore and hit the market for ice cream. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, Cooper. 
Tribune Bay does not have a dock, which makes it a bit of a pain in the butt <laughs> with dogs. Hi. <laughs> Well, that was a fun adventure. Beach landings with a dinghy. Always good. Okay, girls, ready? I don't know what to do with my shoes. Sandy socks. <laughs> this is going to feel so dissatisfying. So, what have we learned here? <laughs> Beach landing, flip flops, right? Sandy socks. Sandy socks are sexy. Yeah, the sandstone. So when Izzy was small, we brought her here and she took off her skirt and Josh took off all his clothes and they went swimming. <laughs> Actually a really cool market. There's lots of handcrafted stuff here and local stuff and ice cream of course. And uh, yeah, they're very welcoming of dogs. There's a cool artist over there with pottery and uh, we'll take you around. It's gonna be a bit. An ice cream? No. <laughs> Mango frozen yogurt. Is it good? Oh, I love this. It's very my style. What do you think? So we just did a fun little walk in a Hornby to take the dogs, went to the Hornby Market from Tribune Bay. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head back out to the boat and chill and relax. And um, that's kind of what boating's about. So the dogs have food and peed, kids have had ice cream. Time to head back to the boat. Okay, this is like the coolest rock formation. Feet in the water, my ass in the sand. Worry about Maggie. What is she doing? <laughs> I think you lost a dog. the boat. Alright Maggie, let's go. Maggie's like, um, no. Here, switch dogs. This one will go in. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Yeah. Good job, Cooper! Cooper.
<laughs> like that, you want yeah. Yeah, it never back. fails. <laughs> Brakes on a boat. Always on the trip too. It's been working so well. And now our outboard is being poopy. The shifter, what happened? <laughs> the shift linkage has come loose inside the motor. Shift linkage, come loose, boat, I don't know. Blaine will know how to fix it, but the weather's turned crappy. Ah! And now we're getting wet. Ah! <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Ford Cooper. And as soon as we got back to Tangaroa, we noticed that our neighbor's dinghy had gotten loose. And well, even with our shift linkage broken, we're off to help them out because you know what? That's what neighbors do. And the best way to pass a early afternoon? Uno! <laughs> This is fun, Blaine, because this is Wimpy Cart, or Wimpy, right. wimpy, wimpy Kid. Kids. This is called the Cheese Touch. I can't believe you guys are playing Uno in a windy day. They're not even blowing. It's nice and protected That's in amazing. here. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at Blue, Wimpy Kid's going ripping out of his shirt. Blue. <laughs> it is rolling on the anchorage, but you know what? We can still barbecue, right, Blaine? We can. Let's see. Looking yummy. We like our steaks medium rare, so um, we usually do three minutes per side. And this time we did four, so we're doing two on the other side. I don't know, Blaine. It'll be fine. And now they rest. Yum. Some sailboats just a flying around here. I'm kind of glad we're not on a sailboat right now. But this was what happens to Tribune Bay when the wind comes out of the south. Like, look at that poor little sailboat right there. That's the one that lost his dinghy earlier. He's not happy. I would not be happy on that sailboat. Even that one, Camelot. Woo, up and down and all around. Oh, yuck. There's our ooh. Luckily, Kendra and Dan had just pulled in with our therapy too, and since our dinghy was broken, I called up Kendra for a ride to shore with the dogs. Okay, rough weather, and we are heading in with dogs. Three dogs. Three dogs. Three dogs. This is Finn. Hi, Finn. <laughs> this is Cooper. Hey, Cooper. And Maggie, of course. Woohoo! Woohoo! Come, on, Maggie. I probably will. Come on, Finn, in the water. Come on. Come on, Finn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woohoo! Do you want to bring it in more? Or what do you think? It's really heavy. Woo! First. <laughs> Go! Okay, I got this one. Okay. <laughs> uh. Woohoo! Super! Hey! <laughs> Super! I just love the rocks. Look at them. Hold yeah, on. wait till you go further out. Pull it. Sometimes we act like a fool. Look at the green here. Oh, wait, can you see some up here? The rocks are wet. It's the lines and the rocks and the sand. Oh, up here. Look at the Come on, follow it. Oh, look at the waves. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, my, yes. That is so pretty. So this looks like soft sand, but it's actually hard. Like it's 
part, it's stone, but it looks like soft sand, and that's sandstone. That's so cool. It actually is quite massaging on the feet. Okay, no it's not. <laughs> What is an alien footprint? Sometimes we hear when we're sad, and sometimes we laugh when we're afraid. Sometimes we smile when we're in every cave. Oh wow. Stop for a minute. Oh look at all the treasures in this one. I might have to take one of the two of these home for Monica. Think for a minute. Who you wanna be for a minute? Don't get over your head, you're like everyone else on here. It's right out of the cliff. Everybody, you went swimming. Woohoo! I think we're good now. Yeah. A little bit damp. <laughs> so much fun though. Oh, I love it here. So remember the video from yesterday with the waves and the rolling and how everything was all crappy? Well, good morning. Check this out. That is in like less than 12 hours. Flat, calm. Perfect day to cross the strait. This is much better weather for picking up, fixing tenders, Blaine. Yes, considerably. So what's wrong? What happened? Um, the, uh, the, arm for the shifter oh geez and thread it off the end of the actual piece can you fix it <coughs> i can fix anything that's really all the question is can you fix it I what, can fix it what's anything. that cartoon where can he fix it bob the builder i'm gonna call you blaine the builder time to take the dogs to shore and it's absolutely beautiful What a 180 degree switch from yesterday. Much happier with this. walk 
And then I looked up and saw this on the map, on the log. Whoa. It's like a log witch. I know I'm about to get tripped. Oh look, Tangaro is not rolling. Oh, what a change. So much better. Cool, we're, it's a perfect day to cross the strait. And uh, yeah, look at it. This is the perfect day to cross the Strait of Georgia. Or the Salish Sea. 